Hey everyone, it's Tristan. I wanted to show you Pocket, which is an app for the iPad and iPhone. It also works under Android and I believe also the Amazon uh, Kindle Fire as well. But you can see it down here on my dock uh, of the iPad. And let me show you what's so cool about it. So basically what it does is it enables you to read articles offline. So let's say you're on your computer, which I am right here, and you're browsing the web and you know you want to read a bunch of articles later. You don't want to, let's say you're at work or whatever and you just don't have time to read an article right now. I'll just go ahead and click on an article here and I'm in Safari. This also works in other browsers such as Google Chrome for instance. So um, I click on an article, and so this is the article. Oh, I, I click on the I, I click on the article to get the print version, and you know I'm thinking about printing it out, but you know I don't really want to waste paper. But I do want to read this later. What Pocket enables you to do is install this little JavaScript right here on your menu bar, right next to my Gmail here on the top left. Just click Pocket on anything that's displayed on your screen, any article, and it will save it to the Pocket app. I can go back and uh, do it with another article. Let's say this article here. It works pretty much on any website as well. It doesn't have to be uh, the New York Times. This is obviously just for demonstration purposes. I like to go to the print version, but you know you don't necessarily have to do that. Let's click on Pocket again. It says Save to Pocket. So now when I go back to my iPad and I launch the Pocket app, as you can see I'm doing right here, it will download those articles as you can see. So once I download them, I can then go away and I don't have to have any internet on the iPad or anything. And I can have these articles to read offline. So as you can see, these articles are now there. So this is the first one that I did. And I've got it set in a night mode. So it's black background with white text, but you can click on the font button right there and set it to day mode if you'd like. And so you can see this is the article. And, you know, I don't have to have any internet. I can just read these completely offline on my iPad or on my iPhone. Furthermore, it also works in horizontal, I mean, vertical mode as well. So as you can see, so this is the article here. It's the full article and I can just read that anytime I want. And it just makes it real convenient. I don't have to read it on my computer screen. I can read it on my iPad or iPhone anywhere around the house or uh, when I'm commuting or anything. I do not have to have internet access because this is completely offline reading. And so if I go back, you can see here is the other article that I just did on the top, the jobs numbers article from the New York Times. So I can go into that. And then there's that article. As you can see, if I go back to my list, I have some other articles that I've previously sent here to my pocket. So yeah, you can save up a whole bunch of articles for reading later and it works really well. And it has a lot of options for you in terms of, it, it even does videos as well. So you can, um, you know, send an image, send a website that has videos to Pocket and it'll go ahead and um, put those in Pocket. And again, as you can see, it works both in the horizontal mode as well as the vertical mode. So it's a pretty cool, it's a pretty cool app. Another thing is you can also view all of your articles that you sent to Pocket uh, in a different mode. This is the list view but you can also click there and you can see it in sort of a magazine type view or article type view as well. Um, so that's kind of neat. And you can also tag different articles as well if you want to put tags in there. So you can search things. So if your list gets really big and stuff, that can be quite handy. So yeah, this is a, a cool app. And um, you can find out more information about it at their website, which is at getpocket.com, as you can see right here. So thanks very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them and I will see you in my next video.